Do you guys remember 2003, back when a brand new four-wheel drive Silverado would run you about $20,000? We probably don't remember 2003 all that well, and if you're around my age, you probably weren't shopping for new trucks in 2003 because you were in third grade, and all that mattered was trying to convince your mom to please let you play Call of Duty because it's a brand new game and all the cool kids have it. 2003 was also the year that the Chevy Silverado received its major updates, new style, and yet again launched its way into instant success in the pickup truck market. But that was 17 years ago. Why now do the 03 to 06 Silverado still get so much attention? And what's the hype with the Cat Eye Silverado? And first things first, before you type in the comment section, yes, I know technically you could get a Cat Eye in 2007 if you got the classic, but just play along with me, all right? So, 2003, Cat Eye Chevy, what's the deal? Well, this was really Chevy's first step into the aggressive looking pickup truck scene when everyone else was going with a more rounded design. Chevy had these angry and aggressive headlights that made the trucks look much sportier. As typical, new model year improvements included a host of interior features like heated seats and satellite radio and some new mechanical features as well like quadra steer, uh, more horsepower, all that kind of stuff. But this isn't a car and driver review that's 17 years late, so I won't bore you with a laundry list of features that are all pretty much standard on today's trucks. Nowadays, at least here in Wisconsin, you can pick up a clean, low mileage crew cab half ton cat eye for about 8,500 bucks, but if you're all right with some more miles or a little bit of work, you can easily get one in good shape for nearly half of that. And price is why these trucks are still so popular. The Cat Eye is the first generation of Chevy pickup that's still modern enough looking on the outside to fit in with new trucks, but old enough that it doesn't cost you as much on the initial purchase. At the same time, they're still new enough and they were so popular that there's still a lot of aftermarket support for them. With wheels, it's not really a surprise because Chevy has had the same six lug bolt pattern for what feels like forever, but even with lift kits, Rough Country, Fabtech, Zone, Pro Comp, and Superlift all make six inch kits, and there's even more brands when you look at other sizes. Plus, the Gen 3 5.3 liter didn't have the displacement on demand yet, so they, like many GM V8s, are very reliable and cheap to work on. The three quarter ton trucks are probably just as popular, but not exactly for all the same reasons. Performance wise, the Cat Eye Duramaxes are the most powerful and the most reliable pre emission testing DEF bullshit. Duramax is ever built. But wow, do these things have a bro tax. I mean, just looking at the local Facebook marketplace, it's not uncommon to see these things listed for 25 grand or more. And I just don't think I could justify paying that much for that old of a truck. But you can let me know if I'm wrong in the comments below. As far as modifications go, whether on the half ton or the three quarter ton trucks, these cat eyes really look good in just about any direction you go. And I mean, literally. Six inch lift in 35s, great. Lowered Silverado SS, awesome. Completely crazy mud bogger on 44s, yeah, you can do that. This style of truck is one of the few that really looks good no matter what you do with it. 17s and a whole lot of rubber is a classic look that your dad probably had on his, but you can also slap some 22s on and have one heck of a show truck. Even those boys down in the Carolinas seem to love these trucks with some reps and hella squat. It simply has a body style that complements any build. The price is right, the performance is good, and that's just what makes these trucks so popular. But we'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below, and if you've got a sweet cat eye you wanna show off, send us some pictures by uploading your truck to the gallery on our website. You can find the link for that as well as a whole bunch of other stuff uh, down in the description below. Peace. I should do it.